So I take screenshots. So I take screenshots. Somebody make memes out of the screenshots. That is insane. That is insane. I guess the Reddit page is just gonna. I guess the Reddit page is just gonna fizzle out, huh? I'm not gonna be. I'm not gonna be doing anything besides recovery-related stuff from now on. I'm not with Mariah anymore. What's gonna happen to the Reddit page, y'all? All y'all shit about to dry up. Happy Thanksgiving, man. All y'all's views about to dry up. You better get it. And you better get in here and get this chat wild while the getting's good. For the last couple of minutes that you guys got me, you, you, were, you were gonna wish that you loved me when you had the chance to love me, and I told you I would forgive you. 
for being a troll. I still, you know what, there might even still be a chance for the trolls to be forgiven. There might still be a chance for trolls to be all the way completely forever forgiven, bro. The doxing has to stop. The doxing has to completely stop. The threats and the harassment of uh, bodily, you know what I'm saying, physical stuff, all that stuff has to stop. And then guess what? People get unblocked. People get blocked. People get, you know what I'm saying, people get privileged. Privileges, guys. I give you guys privileges and I take away privileges, man, if I have to. 555 five, five in chat. Because some people tend to get too comfortable. They get so comfortable in having privileges that they don't know how to function without those privileges. They don't know how to still continue to be a good person towards you and towards other people unless they have those specific privileges. That's a wild ass street right here, bro. Technically, technically, it is the desert. So, happy Thanksgiving, everybody. Happy Thanksgiving. I gotta plug my phone in. Happy Thanksgiving, everybody. Happy freaking Thanksgiving, everybody. Hey, how long do you guys think it's gonna be before I see a pair? Before I see it, before we broke up, I didn't let her. She asked me if we could. I didn't let her. I didn't let her touch me. I said, "No, nah, I'm good. I'll save the rest of my love for this for for the woman that deserves it. Any woman deserves it more than you." Any woman deserves it more than you. Oh, what's my cash app? My cash app or Venmo? Hold on one second, guys. Thirty seconds. Screenshot it so you got it, okay? So that way. Screenshot it so you got it, okay, guys? So I don't want to have this up for my followers to have to see. I don't want them to try to say I was begging for money or anything, guys. You guys told me to put this on the screen because I guess you're going to send something to it, you know? I mean, that's the only reason why I could think that my supporters and subscribers would be like, hey, Nick, man, you know, we're proud of you. And, you know, if you need anything, why don't you just tell us what your cash app and memo is? And then I tell it to you. And then I guess it's because you're going to put some money in it, right? So... I'm so grateful for that, guys. The fact that you even care about me to feed me, that you even care about me to watch me, that you even care about me for any reason whatsoever, guys. Never once did I ever scam you. I'm away from Mariah. I'm away from everybody now. Now's a good time to tell the truth. Never once did I ever scam you guys. Never once. And I never will. Then look what's happening today, guys. I'm blessed. I'm getting blessed. And I'm never gonna scam. I'm never gonna scam, guys. That was yesterday. Alright guys, I don't like the stuff that you guys are saying. And I feel like you need to fix it. I'm trying to be a young man. You guys are doing it for no gifts. You guys are doing it for no galaxies. No TikTok universes. You guys are just telling me things like this. Just saying it. No subscription fee. Just saying it. Just saying whatever you want to say to me. Okay? And I let you do that for a good hot while. Because I try to... See, I try to use like discernment and my you know 31 years of social skills and, and wisdom if you knew even any of my you know 31 years of social skills and, and wisdom if you knew even as long as you don't hurt a child don't ever hurt a child okay don't hurt a child don't hurt an animal don't hurt others, don't hurt yourself, okay? But you heard what I said the first time. Hey, 
cool. All right. As long as you can do those couplings today, guys. As long as you can do those couplings today, guys. There really isn't much you can't do that your finances aren't holding you back from doing. You could be anybody you want to be. Say anything you want to say within reason. Let's let's take a look at now before you start saying anything you want to say. Let's take a glance over at Mike Yuga's life. Okay, remember Mike Yuga? He used to battle with me all the time. Super cool guy, super loyal friend. He made a mistake, and I can't be associated with the mistake he made. I love Mike Yuga, but I can't be associated with that. I love black women. I almost like like dude. I haven't had a white girlfriend in a very long time very long time. I haven't had a white girlfriend in a very long time. You know, as a matter of fact, I don't think I ever had one. I don't know. That's my Trump impression. Sorry. Uh, they're liars. Uh, I don't know. Hold on. So I was, I was going to reference something he said, but then it was going to sound like I was referencing it. a uh, so that's not what's happening. So what is happening is the Arizona mountains have presented themselves before me and before all Kias and all Subarus on the road. All Kias, all Subarus. Calling all, calling all Kias. Calling all Subarus. Who's that guy, Andrew, with the podcast and the mustache? And he's tall. And my ex-girlfriend, Nicole, used to watch him. And she used to pay more attention to what he's talking about than the things that I'm talking about. Who's this Andrew character? And do I need to be concerned about him? Because, like, honestly, he looks like he paid less money for his drop fade. He looks like he paid less money for his for his burst fade than me. But, but he didn't because he has more money than me and the podcast. But he's not Bradley Martin, so I potentially might be able to hold my own in a street fight. Don't really want to see if I would be able to hold my own in a street fight, though, because I enjoy his content. I'm confused, too. I don't really know what we're going to do here with this. I'll tell you what. Maybe if he shaves half his mustache for, like, two weeks, I'll do 50 push-ups and we'll call it a deal. Does that sound like a fair deal? He shaves half his mustache. He walks around in public for two weeks. I do 50 push-ups and I do a front double bicep pose in the mirror. And that's a fair deal. And it's done. Set in stone. It's happening. And anybody who wants to attend can be there. Your choice. My choice. My choice. My choice. My choice. Remember that girl, bro? On the video, bro? Remember when she was tripping? <laughs> Was she tripped my choice? <laughs> Honey. Like, bruh. Now I just want a bunch of crazy things to happen to it. I just want a bunch of little itty bitty strands of like hyper neon wild ass colors that have nothing to do with nature. Just wild designs in the fade and just like wake up and like towel it out and throw a beanie on and go lift weights. <laughs> I'm not going to be on gear anymore so I'm going to be skinny. I mean that's me at like 190. Pretty lean. Just saying. That was today. We are almost in California, guys. It's 
not make believe, it's not cap, it's not delusions of grandeur, bro. It's the biggest offers, it's the biggest thing that's ever happened to me. And that, and for those of you that are new to social media, for those of you that are new, bro, this is exactly how it's gonna happen to you, bro. You're gonna post and post, and you're not gonna think nothing of it, bro. And you're gonna get a couple viral videos, and that's gonna be like the universe's way of testing you to see how you handle that kind of attention. So if you turn off, if you turn into a douchebag off a of one head, bro, you're not ready. If you let a couple thousand dollars a week, a bunch of simps in your comment section, everybody worshiping you for the moment. If you let that go to your head, you're not ready, man. You ain't ready, bro, because the internet is a animal. The internet is a fucking beast, bro. And you gotta learn. Every day is survival on the internet, just like real life. You could have something brought up against you, bro, that could completely ruin your life or worse. It could ruin your life or worse. It could be the reason why somebody else decides to make a permanent decision that they can't take back in your direction. You guys just don't understand the way life is anymore. All because of a gossip. All because of a fucking lie. Some people need this misery train to keep going, guys. Some people some people never believed in me to the point that there are people that are losing thousands of dollars because I'm going to California, guys. People were betting against me. People, I'm supposed to be dead right now, guys. I'm supposed to be unalived right now. I gotta go. We gotta start.